What is up, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, the Memphis XLRA, coming at you with Lucky Draws, the show where I take a look at a deck, and I have myself good fun times. Today, we're taking a look at a blast from the past. We're looking at Volcanics, which is an old archetype that's all about nuking and burning our opponents. And so we got ourselves a bit of a deck here that's all about doing that. We got our doom fires, our scatter shots. We got a bit of a slow down strategy because, you know, these guys are a little old, desperately in need of some support. So we just got to slow down the game just, just a smidge. So we have all the opportunity we need to nuke and burn our opponents and all what have you. So let's go ahead and get ourselves started. We're going to have ourselves a nice fun time with this deck. I'll walk you through the combos and such. we have ourselves a good time. So let's get started. All right, our first opponent of the day, Volcanics. We really want to go first as often as humanly possible. It's kind of important that we do so because Volcanics not very fast. All right, opening hand is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. I've got foolish bad little goods. It'll bait out. His oh no, he's not going to even ash blossom me. Good, 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 good. And we want to send our Blaze Accelerator a load. This lets me dump a monster during either player's turn. It's very important. Very important indeed. We'll set ourselves some defense and end our turn. That's the sad thing. Volcanics, they have not gotten any support since this thing came out. Like, what was it years and years ago? I forget exactly when it was, but it was, it's been a while. So, yeah, it's, it's sad thing that you're forced to play a lot of interruption and such when you're playing Volcanics. Because if you don't, you're kind of screwed. Uh, let's see, we're up against Numerons. Okay, so he's just trying to summon out the uh, the one dude. Um, what's his face? So I to remember what his name was. I mean, we'll find out. Can I negate that if I do this? We'll find out. Either way, I've got Solemn Judgment, so yeah, I think I've interrupted his Numeron stuff. For the moment. For the moment. For the moment. Alright, so now he can just blue the bloody do it again. Just bloody do it again. Um... Let me think about this. Yeah, let's show this off. Let's show off Blaze Accelerator Reload. I'm going to go ahead and dump Scatter Shot. That way he gets his exceeds, and then I will nuke them with Scatter Shot. Scatter Shot, pretty much the most important member of the Volcanics, because you dump him, then you can dump two more copies of him to nuke your opponent's monsters. It'll also do 500 burn damage, and then the other ones you summon do 500 burn damage. So it's pretty cool, but yeah. Uh, Volcanics... They've not had support in so long. I know there's a lot of people who really like Volcanics. And I've seen some really cool, like, custom artwork uh, Volcanics. Like, uh, what was it? Duologs just did a video on that the other day. And it was it was really cool. A lot of people, they know what they're thinking. You know, the people who make custom Volcanic cards, they know what they're doing. So, I'd love to see these guys just get some support. Oh, my God. You had another one. You know what? I'm going to allow that one, and I'm going to negate the big bad. Okay? Okay, Mr. Numeron calling. Just just do the same thing over and over again. The same thing over and over again. That's just all this is. To summon the gates and then rank up into what's-his-face. That, that's this guy's deck. He went to the battle phase. Um... Okay. I mean, you're gonna take damage. I mean, your monster only gets... What? Um... Oh. oh, okay, this isn't a problem. This is not a problem, because his monsters are going to get bigger. Um, no. So what's going to happen is counter here goes off. He's going to take the same amount of damage I just took. And then he's going to attack with the last one. I'm going to be like, uh, manhunt, give me this. I'm not going to steal this, thank you. Thanks for the 4,000 point monster, I appreciate it. So yeah, he gets all these gates and stuff, but uh, I've got this guy. I just put this guy in defense mode, and this guy's gonna have nothing against it. So yeah, I'd, I'd like to see volcanic support because I, I don't like to play a lot of interruption and stuff when I'm dueling. I like to be more back and forth sort of action, you know. But uh, yeah, I mean, what what do the volcanics honestly need? Let me think. A searcher, you know? What, what's their searcher? Blaster? Okay, this guy surrendered. He understood he was dead. Uh, but yeah, what was he? A searcher, a negator, a fusion would be nice. I'll link Dual Log's video in the description. Go check that video. You'll understand what I'm talking about. But for now, let's go for Dual 2 and uh, find ourselves a bit more back and forth that's not Numerons. 
All right, the second opponent. Uh, so, like, what was I saying? I was saying, you know, Volcanics, it's been forever since they got support, and it's weird. Like, a lot of other GX archetypes have gotten support, you know? Like, what's, what's an example? Cloudian's got support. Ojama's. Heroes will get support until the end of days. It's just very odd that this is the one deck that hasn't gotten anything. I don't know why, but, you know, I, I honestly feel that they could and they should. They really should, because I don't like playing, like, too many negates and things. Uh, for now, that'll do. Yeah, it would be really nice. Like, uh, let's think. Yeah, I need a Searcher, need a Fusion. I like more main deck monsters for uh, Volcanics as well. Like, something that can special summon itself would be uh, amazing. You know, like a level 4, like, primarily I'd like level 4 Volcanics, because then you can use, like, Ties of the Brethren, stuff like that. That would be good. Um, no. Uh, da -da 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 -da, but, uh, choose a monster. I have no monsters, so you're going to take life point damage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, otherwise take five, yeah. So he'll take 500 damage, or he should have, but I guess not. All right, so we're up against... Oh, uh, boy, is this what I think it is? No, it's not. Okay, good. I was about to say, if this was like, you know, Red-Eyes Dragoon, I would be a little upset at that. But, apparently, this is just good old-fashioned Elegimento de Quiros. Um, so if I kill this, bad things happen. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and hit him with Reload. Because I'd like to do some burning. There you go. Let's go ahead and dump scatter shot. And then you gotta remember to use scatter shot again to dump. So basically, I'm dumping all this stuff. He loses his monsters. Oh, well, he loses one monster, but... You know what? He's gonna take the burn damage regardless. And I've got blazing mirror force, okay? I am going to do even more burn damage. Because this is my one concession to additional nuke and burn is just destroy all the monsters in attack mode do more burn damage i mean yeah i believe he gets a uh, neos wise guy which he more than likely plays and uh, yeah i forget what neos uh no no he does not have neos wise man interesting i was sure he would all right let's go ahead wait till the end phase and play scapegoat there we go Good old scapegoat. Nice little tech card. Let's me make Avramax. Just, just a nice little thing I can do. Alright, uh, this foolish burial, which I mostly play here in case you don't get reload. You know, that sort of deal. Let's see here. Uh, make Mascarena. I really like Mascarena. I really want one in, like, real life, too, for my Karibo deck. But it's so bloody expensive. It's what I always hate about, like, real life Yu-Gi-Oh! is, like, the cards you really want are, like, Really expensive. It's not fun for us little people. Now, not all of us make hundreds of dollars and can spend it all on trading cards. Okay? I'm just saying. Not to be salty or nothing, I'm just saying. Alright, let's go ahead and Phoenix this guy. Don't need Foolish Burial right now, I don't think. I mean, really, right now. Right now, what I could really use is my, um... Let's see, my Royal Firestorm squad would be really nice, because then I could get my stuff back and draw more. That's the thing. You want to re- well, quote-unquote, reload yourself as often as possible. You want to keep recycling your, uh, you know, scatter shots and all that. That's why we run things like Pod of Avarice and such. So let's go ahead and beat into this guy with Trusadia Avramaxi. We'll see. This guy might not have anything, because he's out of life points, because I forgot how little life points he had. Okay. Well, there we go. We beat Neo Spatians. That's something, I guess. So far, we haven't faced anything meta. I am out on the competitive server. Um, but yeah, th there you go. We were able to make Avramax and Volcanics. There you go. So, that's an alright duel. I got the nuke and burn, and that's the most important thing. So let's go ahead into duel number three and see if we can keep it up. Alrighty, our third opponent. So far, it's been pretty good. I haven't had to, like, lock people down yet. I haven't really seen that much of my lockdown. I haven't seen summon limit, which I'm okay with, you know? Like, I, I have summon in, limit in here and to slow people down, but I don't necessarily want to play it because it's just, a, I, I never like playing it. I got both my Doomfires. Not necessarily great, but they're there. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, but I got my reload so I can ditch one of them to draw a card. 
I've got Manhunt slash Crackdown, and I've got Heavy Storm Duster. So, all in all, decent setup here. Doomfire is our boss. Basically, if my, you know, during my opponent's battle phase, he has to attack this thing. And if he attacks, you know, if, yeah, yeah, if, if my monster destroys his monsters, this will nuke all of his monsters and do 500 damage for each. So this is a really nasty COD if you can get it to nuke things. Actually, one of my original ideas for this deck was, you know, using um, Ojama Duo and Trio. Like, you know, just Doomfire Turbo, give your opponent Ojama tokens, and then, you know, nuke them. Which is an okay idea, seeing as your opponent takes damage if, you know, Ojama tokens are destroyed. But at the same time, I just didn't feel like doing that, you know? Like, that felt a little too... What's the word for it? A little too gimmicky? Like, it's an idea. It's an idea that's solid, but at the same time, it takes a lot of setup to do that. So, yeah. And I just remember, I do have one good replay of this deck. I think it was against, uh, was it, this Necroz. I think it was against Necroz, actually. So, I think I should be able to beat this guy. I mean, I've beaten Necroz with this deck before. So, we'll see. We'll see indeed. I mean, I've got my reload. Sadly, I don't have scatter shot in the hand. Again, where is Volcanic Search? I need a Searcher of Monsters. Blaster is too slow. I need, like, a like a spell that searches out monsters. That would be nice. I mean, freaking Ice Barriers have a good Searcher of Monsters. Bloody Medallion of the Ice Barrier. How come Volcanics don't have Medallion of the Give Me My Freaking Volcanics? That's what I want. That's what I would call the card. I would just call it that. Don't need a fancy name. I don't need no fancy names. Just give me good stuff. Alright, so he's got the Unicorn. He can't Trishula me at the moment. Which is good. I'm going to go ahead and use Reload, even though I don't really need to. I'm just going to do it now so I can draw some stuff. What? You going to do something? You going to do nothing. That's what. Okay, so he's got a Unicorn. Negates everything summoned from the Extra Decky. Alright, interesting. I'm not going to... You know, I could crack down this, but I'm not going to. You know, I could, but I will reserve myself for now. Because I want to use Doomfire. Okay, and I'll save this for, like, uh, other stuff. I'll save it for other stuff later. Okay. So it's got that Unicorn. That Unicorn might be trouble, but we'll see. So, end of May Fate, nothing because he didn't do anything. Alright, this will work. Let's go ahead and Magic Planter. I ditch a Continuous Trap to draw some cards. Most importantly, this goes to the graveyard, so now it is live for nuking boards. I uh, know. Alright, Royal Firestorm Squad 2. Very nice. And I just remembered that I needed... The okay. Okay, let me think. Okay. Okay, I might have made a slight goof there, but I can make it work. So let's go ahead and reload. I'm going to banish that. And we're going to... You see, I was either going to draw stuff, or I was just going to nuke stuff. That was my plan. I was thinking of going for Doomfire, but I can still do that eventually. Don't worry about it. No worries, okay? No worries, be happy. Okay, slight goof, but it's not a big deal, because he's taking damage. And I'm going to get all my stuff back so I can nuke him again. All I need is another copy of my reload. Alright, so now what we're going to do, summon out Firestorm Guard. This will get me all these back, plus Rocket, and let me draw one card. One, two, three, four, and okay, we got two cards. Even better. And I've got Scatter Shot again, which is cool. Very cool indeed. Alrighty, so now we'll just hit him a little bit with a Firestorm Guard. This is a very good card in this deck because it just lets you recycle all your scatter shots, lets you draw cards, etc., etc. So now let's see what our opponent do. That's the thing. He can still do some stuff, but I've got uh, Solemn Johnson. So if he tries to trish me, I will be good. So now he's got Candle. I'll be like Summon Limit. So now only two summons for both of us each turn. Volcanics, uh, the, the one good thing about them combined with this is that they are naturally kind of slow. So this doesn't affect us too much. I mean, it stops me from going for like scapegoat combo, but other than that, it, it works just fine. Alright, so he's got his incantations out on the bird. Okay. This is fine. I, I'm sad that this Storm Duster isn't going to do me any good. This guy does not play any traps. I, I really doubt that. 
he might have an impermanence or two, but he, he does not play into, like, battle traps or continuous traps. Nothing like that. Nothing of the sort. Okay. Let's see. I still want... You know, I, I am kicking myself a little bit. I was so eager to show off Magic Planter combo with this that I forgot about Doomfire. I wanted to summon Doomfire really bad. I mean, I could have. Could have summoned Doomfire, blown up his monster, nuked his board. Done some damage. But at the same time, it did more damage off of the Scattershot combo. So, and all in all, it's okay. Like, if I, if I can use Solemn Judgment this turn and I can somehow get Scattershot, or not Scattershot, get my Reload, that would be good. Because I, I really want to summon this at least once. I believe my the, re, the one replay I've got has him, uh, you know, me summoning this guy out. But, uh, we'll see. Okay, so now he's got the Necros of Tushala. That's not necessarily good, because that's uh, banishing a card in my hand. And all the other good stuff. Let's see here. Let's see. Might as well steal this. Maybe he'll be stupid and they'll banish Trackdown. Sadly, though, he's going to banish one of the cards in my hand. And I'm kind of hoping he hits Doomfire. Because if he hits Scattershot, there goes my Scattershot combo. There goes Scattershot combo. He's got something. I don't know what he's got, but he's got something. And he hits Scattershot. Sad news indeed. Sad news indeed that we're losing Scattershot. But at least we've gotten to use Scattershot a few times, so... I'm not too sad. I'm a little sad. Just a little bit. What? Oh, and he gets it back. I thought I was gonna get... Wait. When this... Okay, so he does just get it back. Okay, this is, this is not great, but it's fine. Because I've got another crackdown. I can just steal this again. I can just steal it as many times as I desire. And I think he's about to run out of time. Uh, and indeed, that's what happened. He ran out of time because he took so long doing his combo. I mean, I was just going to crack down him again. Steal this and then run over these. So, honestly, I think I was going to win regardless. But I'll have that replay. I believe I, I, I'm, I, I did the duel like the other day. So, I don't remember exactly what it was. But... Pretty sure it was Necros too, but regardless, let's go for fourth opponent and see if we can wrap up with a nice 4-0. <laughs> Alright, final opponent. We're going first again, which is always good. Opening hand is tolerable. I mean, I've got my rocket. As so long as you see the rocket, things are good, because you're getting your reload. You're getting everything you want. So let's go ahead and set some stuff. Got Crackdown. Got Scapegoat. Got Solemn Strike. All in all, it's a good back row there. Now, Rocket, I don't know what Volcanics would do without Rocket. Like, he is legit, like, the best one of the lot. Like, you know, he's a 1900 body, level 4, pretty nice. You know, if I was playing Ties of the Brethren, I could summon out, like, Barrier Statue Fire with something else. Magic Musket Cathbury, I say. Alright, let me think about this. Um... I do not like Elder Lich. Elder Lich is not a deck that I subscribe to. Um, okay, what else you got? Right, well, what what exactly are you doing, my dude? What exactly is your purpose in life? What is it? Is it Elder Liches? I don't know if I can beat Elder Liches. I don't know. I mean, uh, what does this do again? Yeah, I better not allow that. I better not allow no Magic Musket Max. I mean, granted, he can just get the Elder Lichy boy. But, we'll see. We'll see indeed what ditches, because he can, you know, basically what Golden Boy does, ditches a spell trap, summon, or sends himself to the graveyard, gets rid of one of my cards. We'll see. It's Scapegoat? Well, then I'll play Scapegoat! Uh, my luck holds true. Scapegoat is on the board. Get my goats in the- Get my goats and the boys. This is the goat. This is the boy. Goats. Boy. Understand? Good. So now he can just get that bloody back. That's kind of what it does. So he can get back the Elder Lichy boy. He can summon it or any other Zombo. And then he'll get a thousand attack points. And sadly, I can't manhunt him right now. Because obviously, I have, uh, you know, 
played scapegoat. But I, I had to play scapegoat. You know, if I didn't do that, then, well, obviously, I would not have scapegoat tokens. I kind of need those. I need them. Okay, so now he's got El Delici. He's going to kill my rocket because that'll do damage, of course. That'll do damage. That'll do me some damage. Physical, mental, and metaphysical. Okay, so now I just gotta get rid of this Eldritch guy. Let's go ahead and crack down it. That way he doesn't have it, and his trap monsters don't do him any good. So now he's gonna get, uh, let's see how many... I think he just gets one. He just gets the one dang cod. So... Okay, so that's Red Splatter, so that's going to allow him to get out another Golden Boy. Alright, interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, let's go for attempting Avramaxu here, because if I can get an Avramax, that'll stop a lot of his stuff. We'll see. We'll see indeed. Uh, Linky Stinky Spider. I'm going to keep this around for now, even though I don't really need it. Well, actually, I put that in the wrong spot. Shoot, now I have to go for it. Now I kind of have to. Uh, yeah. No, wait. No, I just remembered something. Um, no, no, that's that's the right one. I'm, I'm getting myself tangled for no good reason here. Okay. Summon out Phoenix Boy. Phoenix Boy will ditch summon limit, and I already know what that is, so I'll get rid of the other one. Because hitting this will just make them play it. So they'll have a reason not to hit this. Alright, so now he's got Conquistador of the Gold of Granando. Alright. This might not be great, because he might be about to hurt me. He's going to summon Golden Boy, and then he can summon this, and then he can pop a face-up card of mine. That's the sad thing, is he's going to pop Mascarena, and I kind of need the Mascarena. Alright, so here's what we do. Blaze Accelerator Reload. Get rid of it with Magic Planter. And no, not yet. Okay, that'll work. Uh, that'll work actually rather well. So let's go ahead and make Unicorn. Uni, Uni the Unicorn. And we're going to go ahead and bounce this. Back to the deck so it doesn't bother us anymore. All right. So now we'll attack him with Unicorn. All right, that worked rather well. That worked rather, rather well. Okay. So now we're good for the moment. I've got Firestorm Squad, that'll get me back my scatter shots. That'll get my dang scatter shots back, alright. So now he's gonna get another Golden Rando. Probably Cursed Land. No? Conquistador. Okay. I'm curious as to what this stuff in his hand is. Oh yeah, he's playing Magic Muskets, I forgot. I kind of forgot that part, because he kind of wasn't doing much Magic Muskets there for a bit. So, let's see here. What does this do again? Add magic musket spell traps. Okay. So he's going to get the thing that negates my stuff. And doesn't he still have the thing that neg like negates whatever? I think he still has the thing that negates whatever. That's the sad part. He has a dead man's stand in his hand. That's why I never really cared for magic muskets. Can he? Wait. Yeah, this guy, I was about to say, does Max have that effect? Of course he does. Why would the Link not have that effect? Uh, oh, and he had El Delici, boy. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, indeed. All right. Like I said, I didn't know if I could stop this guy. I mean, I tried. You can't tell me I didn't try, okay? I tried bloody hard to get rid of this thing. Oh, we'll see. Let me think about this. Actually, I think that's... No, that's not quite game. It's close, but not quite. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to attempt to bait stuff out. We'll send Scatter Shoot to the graveyard. I can't kill Golden Lord, but I can attempt to kill this. Okay, so now that'll go away. He'll take some more burn damage. There you go. Take some more damage. Problem is, he can just get whatever again with these... That's the thing I don't like about Elder Lich, is they just banish themselves to get new copies of themselves. It's a really annoying combo. Really, not even a combo, it's just a weird... It's an annoying game mechanic. It's like, every one of his traps just, like, recycles itself, or the spells. 
Plus, these traps count as, like, normal monsters, so you can't even impermanence the things. Not that that would do anything, but at the same time. Alrighty, so the question is, what is the top of my deck look like? That's a good question. If only Reload was... Well, nah. I'm, I'm thinking of, like, Doomfire helping me here, but I don't think he's going to save my butt. Alright, so he's got Scarlet Sanguine, so he's trying to get out more monster. Alright, let's attempt this. Let's go Royal Firestorm Squad. Get back our Volcanics. Put the bullets back in the chamber. Got something. I mean, I already know what it is. It's El Elixir Scarlet Sanguine, but he's thinking of whether he wants to play it now or later. Now or later, my friend. That is your choice. Alright, that might work. That might work indeed. We'll find out. Let's go ahead and end our turn. This is not going to be, you know, immune to destruction now. We'll see. If Blazing Mirror... Well, I don't have enough life points to survive Blazing Mirror Force. But you know what? If I'm going to die, I might as well do it on my own bloody terms, okay? That's just how it is. That's just how it is. Because this is now going to be immune to traps. It's not going to be immune, but immune. Alright, so now he's going to summon probably Baladrock, if not Unizombie. Uh, that's a good question. What is he going to summon? No, he just summoned another Golden... Okay, he just summoned another Golden Lord. I might get hit with a train. This is possible. It's possible indeed that I might get hit with a train. Or Starfire, that is another option. Alright, so he's just going to go for Battle Phase. And he still has that thing in his hand. Um, but I'm still going to play this, even though it's not going to do me any good. But, you know, we had ourselves a good back and forth. Sadly, we did not manage to stop Elder Lich Magic Muskets. An annoying cursed deck, if ever there was one. But regardless, you know, I've got that replay, so I'll show that off after the end screen time. Let's go for end screen now, and we'll talk more about volcanic stuff. Alrighty, everybody, Volcanics went three out of four wins, which is pretty good. You know, I you know I didn't think they would get it in there, but Volcanics, they, they held tight. I never got to summon Doomfire, sadly, but, you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you'd rather use this to nuke and burn, but, you know, sometimes it happens lightly. So, you know, I enjoyed playing Volcanics again. I, I really do hope that they get that support. I honestly do, because I'm sick of playing, like, summon limits with this deck and, you know, lock down and the gates and things. I want to just nuke and burn. I want every turn to be nuking and burning, okay? That's what I want out of Volcanics. So, let's get a Searcher, let's get a Fusion, let's get all the bells and whistles for this old deck, you know. It, it, it is, it's not going to be them, is it? Knowing Konami, they're going to print, like, Roids or something next, or, like, the Curry Monsters. Anybody know the Curry Monsters? These guys. Yeah, this is going to be the next thing printed. Probably. But regardless of all my misgivings, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck. Smash like for volcanic support. Uh, I'm going to show off that quick replay, and that will be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, do remember to like and, you know, think about subbing if you haven't. And uh, let's uh, go right into that replay. Alrighty, here we are in replay land. So I double checked, this is in fact another duel against Necroz. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it off. We got ourselves a nice start with Rocket, searching out our reload as we like to do, and we'll set ourselves a nice bit of back row. But unfortunately, my opponent hits me with the evenly matched, because of course he did. But you know what? I'm not going to let my reload go to the graveyard or the banished pile, or whatever. I'm not going to let that happen. I want my reload right where it is. So my opponent, he's going to be doing his thing. He's going to go for Clausulus. He's going to go Kaleidoscope. And you know what? He's going to get some stuff, but I'm going to reload him in a moment. That way he's going to lose that dang old unicorn. He can get Brianak as much as he wants. But I'm going to go ahead and nuke his board and do some nice bit of burn damage. There you go. Just scatter shot all over the face. So now my opponent's got a whole lot of nothing. I've got Doomfire now. So this, my friends, is where Doomfire is coming into play. There is our boy. He's on the board. We summoned Doomfire successfully. Now we're just going to hit our opponent with all the damage. So now he's in a bit of a pickle. I've got some nice stuff. He's got a whole lot of nothing. So he's got Manju he's going to bring out and search out some more rituals. And you know, use his uh, preparations of rites and his Brianax. 
He's searching out his, re or his uh, Necroz quite well. And he's got this thing, Necroz Decisive Armaments. It's a big beefy beater. It's actually bigger than Doomfire. But he decides that he's going to try its effect out to nuke my back row. But he hits Solemn Strike. So I go ahead and chain it. So no Necroz for him. And my opponent promptly surrenders. Realizing he doesn't stand a chance against Doomfire. So, that was the quick replay against Necroz. I guess Doomfire and Volcanics in general are just good against Necroz. Who knew? So, hope you enjoyed that one. And, uh, yeah, I guess next time I'm going to be playing some uh, Senka Zoos. That's going to be the next deck. So, I hope you guys will tune in for that. And, again, your boy Memphis will be signing out. Take care, everybody, and have a nice Volcanic day.